Okay, we'll be simulating breast examination. Okay, so whenever you get a patient and you're asked to do a breast examination, make sure that you start in a sitting position. Okay, so even if you meet your patient lying down, you ask the patient to kindly sit up. Okay, so you begin your breast examination in a sitting position. So don't forget to grip your patient. You greet, create rapport, introduce, and ask for permission. Good afternoon, Mrs. Desmond. Good afternoon. How are you doing today? I'm very fine. Okay. My name is Dr. Kachi and I would like to examine your breast for some few minutes. Can I go ahead, please? Problem. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Can you kindly put your, your arms beside you? Thank you. So you should be seen looking out for obvious scars, obvious um, lumps. Look out for any accessory nipple, anything you see, any discoloration, skin changes, ulceration, you must be seen to be looking out for that, okay? After that, you ask the patient to put the hands up. So can you put your hands up? Thank you very much. So you examine the axilla, look out for any axilla, any obvious axillary swelling, any obvious um, axillary till of breast, okay? So can you put your hand just beside your waist? Thank you very much, okay? So you're also checking out for symmetry, checking out for any accentuated lumps at this point, all right? Generally, just be seen to be looking out for anything you can find on the breast. Then you ask the patient to lie down. So please, can you lie down, Mrs. Desmond? Thank you. Always start your breast examination from the apparently normal breast, okay? So even if you could not identify any obvious lumps on inspection, you should ask the patient if there are any lumps the patient has noticed before presenting to the hospital, okay? So Mrs. Desmond, where is the, the place of the problem? Where do you have the lump? Okay, so if he points a particular place as the location of a lump, you start from the apparently normal breast and move to the normal breast, okay? So in your palpation, you palpate the quadrants of the breast, including the nipple areola complex, okay? So don't forget to palpate the, the quadrants of the breast in that order and the nipple areola complex. After that, you express the nipple for discharge and also examine the axilla for axillary lymph nodes, okay? So we start, and you must go in order, particular order. So the upper lower quadrant, okay? Upper, uh, upper outer quadrant. And your other hand, your other hand should not be lying hanging. It shouldn't be hanging, it shouldn't be in your pocket. It's either you support the patient's shoulder with your other hand or it is directly over your examining hand okay so it shouldn't be hanging it shouldn't be in your pocket all right so i can put my other hand on my examiner's shoulder my patient's shoulder to reassure the patient okay so upper lower quadrant and if the patient's breast is big you can also use the other hand to support the breast while you're examining okay so Outer lower quadrant, upper outer quadrant, inner upper quadrant, inner lower quadrant. Okay? Then we examine the nipple areola complex. Okay? Then we express using the dosum of our hands. Express in two directions. Okay? Just check if there are any obvious discharges. If there are no discharges, we move on to examine the axilla. Like we discussed earlier, we hold the patient with the left to left, right to right, support the hand and examine in the regions like we discussed in our general examination, okay? So after that, we'll move on to the, the breast of the, of the pathology, all right? And we examine also in that quadrant, in the quadrant, okay? So, so we're checking for obvious masses, the nipple areola complex, then we express in two directions, horizontal, vertical. We express, okay? Then we'll now examine the lump. If, the, if there's a lump on the breast, we examine the lump, okay? So we want to know, is there attachment? Is, there, is the lump attached to the skin? So we, we, we'll pick up the skin overlying the lump, if we can pick it up so it's not attached to the skin. Is the lump attached to underlying structures, okay? So is it freely mobile? So we try to move the, the lump in all planes. We move it vertically, horizontally. If it can't move, then it is freely mobile, okay? So we examine the lump as we examine other masses, okay? So after that, we then examine the axilla 
of the axillary group of lymph nodes on the affected side. The same way we discussed in general examination, okay? Anterior group, posterior group, central, apical, and lateral, okay? So after that, we want to also examine for points of possible metastasis of breast malignancy, okay? So we want to auscultate, we want to listen, listen the chest, listen to the chest, okay? Auscultate on the lung zones, upper, middle, and lower lung zones, okay? We also want to examine the liver, if there's hepatomegaly, if there's liver enlargement, you also want to do an abdominal examination to examine the liver, okay? Then finally, we want to examine the spine, if there's a spinal metastasis. So I ask you, please, ma, can you sit up, please? Okay? And you run down, you run down the patient's spine while looking at the patient's face, okay? Because sometimes there can be some tenderness while palpating. So we run down, see if there are any um, protrusions, see if there's any signs of um, spinal metastasis, okay? You ask the patient to sit down, right? And you thank your patient. Thank you very much, Mrs. Desmond. Thank you. Thank you. And that's how you do a breast examination.